Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as the Koreans where we last left off. We were, um... We had just made a peace treaty where he gave us, like, literally all of his cities. And right now we are just desperately attempting to maintain our happiness in our economy. Right now we're almost back under 10 happiness, so our production will go back up. But otherwise we are in a little bit of trouble. But once I be able to unpup it all of my states and stuff. We, we'll, we'll be okay. Eventually, we'll get to the point where we're okay. I'm just going to make sure I, need, I just need lots of money. And I'm, I'm getting lots of money, too. I should have plenty of money once this is all over. But... Doesn't make this any easier. Okay, we finished the seaport. Build the factory. Um, you. Hello, you. Actually, any cities I can un I can annex and... Nope. Okay. So, we've done everything in Taurus. Next up is you. Purchase... The circus. Purchase... The Coliseum. Yeah, we're only slightly unhappy. So that'll help. Won't help my growth, but it'll help my production again. Go there. Uh oh. No, not the lag turn movement again. Gosh darn it. And you still need movement. Which is dim. Set it for range. <sighs> death beats equally at a poor man's gate. Then Good, we got all that stuff done? Happiness is actually going down somehow. I need to build all of these things. The Louvre would not be bad, but I definitely, definitely, definitely would like the Statue of Liberty. Um, get rifling next so I can upgrade all my troops. Otherwise, I wouldn't get my ass kicked. Okay, you alert. Sixteen turns? Holy cow. I guess because it was a puppeted state. Okay, you just... Sleep. I don't really need you. Okay, next turn. Happiness is still dropping somehow. Um, not sure how, but anyway. They got lots of workers in there. We're gonna have fun just walking in and taking out all their workers once we eventually attack. Wake up. Yeah, it's, it's delayed movement, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the game real fast. I can quick save, but no, we'll just save, save. And we'll reload it. Unfortunately, this is the only thing I've found to actually fix the problem. But yeah, that's something that they're definitely going to need to patch. I don't know if it's a PS3 specific problem. But they're definitely going to have to do something about that. Because that just totally ruins gameplay.
Okay. You sleep. I don't know if that actually did anything, but we'll find out. He's in the industrial area. I'm pretty sure I've been there for a while, but he's going to have no science now. I've completely knocked him off the map. The next target is probably going to be Augustus and then Huron. Just be oh, wow, we're happy again. Whoa. How am I gaining happiness? That's just weird. Why am I gaining happiness? Huh. Next turn. Oh, I bet you it's because of specialists and stuff. Um, because I did have 400 science at one point. Now it's down to three. It was down. It was down to like 350. Now 375. Uh, specialists cause different things for happiness. Um, you finished the windmill. And you build anything interesting? Build the factory. Just boost up your production until we can get our happiness like at a really good level. And you, annex. Purchase the courthouse. helps quite a bit and oh I can do it with you too annex purchase the courthouse so that gives me like three happiness not amazing but whatever okay we need to go to the citizen management though default focus make sure everyone's on default Okay. Now you. Do you still have happiness buildings that you can build? Because we just. I'm just gonna buy them everywhere. I want to have about. Tw I'll stop. I'll stop buying happiness buildings once I have about 20 happiness. Just because my cities are all gonna grow, and they're all gonna get more people, which makes people more unhappy. But I also need to upgrade my units as well. It is well that war is so terrible, or we should grow too fond of it. Okay, choose production. We finished the bank. Build me the bum bum bum. Factory. Just boost up your production as fast as possible. You're growing pretty well. And let's go ahead and grab dynamite as well so I can upgrade all of my cannons. We'll be able to just raffle whatever roll over them. I don't know what awful means. We'll just be able to destroy them completely and utterly without mercy. Every single last one of them. Take over our continent and see what we can do from there. Yeah, but right now I'm just going to focus on spending my money to maintain my empire <laughs> before I worry about upgrading units. Because he shouldn't be able to beat me. See all his built great engineer. Could just use him to rush the Statue of Liberty. Let's take a quick peek. Open tech tree. Let's see what other wonders that we have that I could get relatively quickly that I could want. Um. Yeah, actually, the Eiffel Tower. And in addition, it provides five happiness plus one happiness for every two policies you have adopted. So that's probably going to be right around ten happiness. And Krista Redentar. Which is totally, totally nerfed, but I, I would still like it. It'll help. So we'll, we'll save you. I just better, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the Statue of Liberty before anyone else does, considering I should be technologically superior to everyone. 
Actually, let's check that. Um, it'll be, uh, not that, just demographics. Person, everything except for approval. Which is, I don't remember what that was again. But yeah, literacy, we're in first place. The average is 47. We're much better off than anyone else. And we'll only continue to be getting better. Oh, and it's Tesla. How many of you guys saw the, um... What is it? Dark Science? Oh, no, the Twisted But You on the Sci Science Channel. That show is kind of freaky. But they talked about Tesla and how he intended to, um... Like, transmit electric electricity, electricity wirelessly through the atmosphere. And because of certain situations, he and he started to go crazy, possibly by the insane amount of electric fields he was around all the time. But he uh, possibly created a super weapon, and then the government destroyed it after he died. Possibly. It's all speculation. But for no apparent reason, somewhere in Russia, a huge area was flattened for no apparent reason. No crater, no nothing. Just flattened. Scary stuff. So we meet Wu Zetian. Wu Zetian. What have you got? You have luxuries? Oh, look at all that ivory you have. You've got lots of gold. We'll take... 500 gold? Uh, 400 gold then. That should have been a heck of a good deal. Okay, are we still on delayed movement? No, we're not. Okay, good. Peace treaty has ended. And when entered Wheel of the King Day, I need to get 25 happiness now to equate what it was before. Kume is still rebelling. You're not, you're not. Is Kume my last city that needs to do that? Apparently. How long? Another eight turns. Jeez, dude. You guys are angry guys. Uh, purchase. We're going to make you a little buffy. Uh, the windmill. Just spend some money here. The workshop. What else? What else do you want? I guess just put a factory in it too. And then just have you build everything I could possibly want. Let's do that. Because you are amazing. I think everyone's on default. Sweet. Though I should probably save my money. I should probably save up my money to upgrade my military units now, because once my golden age expires... I'm getting 200 gold from other civs. Wow. That explains why my gold is so high. Okay, you. Build me the circus. Actually, no. Build me the windmill. Just continue to grow. Get more production. No, because I kind of want to kill you too. Just because I can. Okay, so stuff. Two, okay, two of them is ended. Aloha mai e ke hoa. Aoya e ho mawaku. Um, okay, we will trade this to you for 250 and I'll. Oh, you already have open borders. Aole ka. 200? Aye, aoya. And then there was you, who was friendly. 
السلام عليكم ماذا كنت تقول um, 200 you have no luxury resources anyway just take your money Okay, finish the stoneworks. You've got lots of production. Build me the theater. How much happiness am I getting from other sieves? Um, none. Good. So now I know how much happiness I'm getting. And you stop building a bank. Build me the workshop. You need more production. Okay. I think I'm gonna need more military units though. Even though I have lots of strong ones. As soon as men decide that all me Very good. Windmill just grow. Um, railroad will help my production overall, and they're actually much faster to make now, which is awesome. They're like they were seven turns now; they're like three or something like that. I should probably make more workers too. Come to think of it. Building just over. I'm still getting 403 gold per turn. I guess half of that is from other civilizations, but. That's a lot of gold. Finish the library. Build me the workshop. Adopt a policy. That'll give me more production. This will give me more happiness. And so all my cities can grow. Yeah, we'll get that. I'm getting this... Finishing up tradition next might not be a bad idea, and then just going in for the rest of order. What is liberty? What does that one give me? It's a free great person, so it's not really amazing. But it's definitely not bad. Alert. 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 Very, very good. Wow, I'm not even in the last. That's funny. Eighteen. Okay. Choose production. Let's have you grow. Build the hospital. Set it for range. And alert. And I'm going to cut the video off here on turn 250. So thank you very much for watching. And God bless.